Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a crucial topic that affects thousands of lives every year. We're talking about colorectal cancer. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and click the bell icon to stay updated on all of our latest videos. Let's jump right in. Colorectal cancer is a serious health concern that targets three main areas, the colon, rectum, and anal canal. In the United States, it's one of the top three most common cancers affecting both men and women. The numbers are staggering. In, in 2021 alone, around 149,500 new cases were reported. Let's break it down further. Out of these cases, a little over 104,000 affected the colon, while approximately 45,000 involved the rectum. Additionally, there were 9,000 new cases related to the anus, anal canal, or anal rectum. Colon cancer isn't just common, it's also deadly. In fact, it's the third leading cause of cancer-related deaths in the U.S. for both men and women. In 2021, an estimated 52,980 people sadly lost their lives to this disease. So what can we do to raise awareness and fight colorectal cancer? Well, knowledge is power, and sharing this information with your friends and family is a great first step. The more we know, the better prepared we can be to take action and protect ourselves. Causes and Risk Factors Now, let's discuss the risk factors associated with colorectal cancer. There are both uncontrollable and modifiable risk factors. Understanding these factors can help us take control of our lives and make informed choices. Some uncontrollable risk factors include age, family history, and genetic predispositions. On the other hand, modifiable lifestyle factors like diet and exercise account for more than half of all colorectal cancer cases. Let's dig deeper into some of the risk factors like personal medical history. Your risk of developing colorectal cancer increases with age, especially after age 50. However, there has been a rise in cases among younger adults, possibly due to obesity and unhealthy lifestyles. Having a history of high-risk polyps, inflammatory bowel disease, or type 2 diabetes can also increase your risk of developing colorectal cancer. Additionally, your family history and inherited genetic risks play a significant role in determining your likelihood of developing the disease. Lifestyle factors such as obesity, physical inactivity, alcohol and tobacco use, and gut microbiota imbalances can all contribute to an increased risk of colorectal cancer. Diet also plays a crucial role. High consumption of red and processed meats and low consumption of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains can increase your risk. Interestingly, regular use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, or NSAIDs, and aspirin has been associated with a reduced risk of colorectal cancer. However, be sure to consult your doctor before starting any medication regimen. Postmenopausal hormone replacement therapy has also been linked to a decreased risk of colorectal cancer, but due to its potential risks, it's not recommended solely for colorectal cancer prevention. In terms of diet and nutrients, consuming a high-fiber diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains can help lower your risk. Calcium and vitamin D intake can also provide protective effects against colorectal cancer. However, the relationship between certain micronutrients, such as folate, and colorectal cancer risk is complex, with both protective and tumor-promoting effects observed. It's essential to maintain a balanced diet and consult your doctor for personalized advice. In conclusion, understanding both the uncontrollable and modifiable risk factors associated with colorectal cancer can help you make informed decisions about your health. By staying physically active, maintaining a healthy weight, consuming a balanced diet, and avoiding excessive alcohol and tobacco use, you can significantly reduce your risk of developing colorectal cancer. Remember, early detection is key. Regular screenings, especially if you have a family history or other risk factors, can save lives. Talk to your healthcare provider about the appropriate screening schedule for your unique situation. 
If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. And as always, if you have any questions or concerns about colorectal cancer or any other health-related topics, don't hesitate to leave a comment below or reach out to a healthcare professional. We're here to provide helpful information and support. In our next video, we'll be discussing the pathophysiology of colorectal cancer. So make sure you stay tuned and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with our latest content. Thank you for watching and remember, your health is your wealth. Take care of yourself and we'll see you in the next video.